Hi everyone, welcome back to Ella Games and another episode of our Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. Hopefully this recording goes better than the last one. Um, but let's just jump right in and I'll catch you all up on where we're at. Okay, so we are currently in Blackwater. So basically what I did in the episode that unfortunately got deleted <laughs> is I really just kind of explored around this side of the map. I went all the way up here and found the hermit woman, which I'm judging from what, <clears throat> sorry, what you guys were saying that that's the witch. She was pretty creepy. <laughs> um, kind of went all the way down here. We found some, um, newer areas that we hadn't really been around before down here there wasn't too much to see um but it was quite cool went down here to the aurora basin we also met evelyn miller again the writer and he lives here at tanner's reach he said to come and see him um yeah evelyn miller miller camp um but nothing came up on the map so i guess we just go pop in um didn't go all the way down here. We found the look, uh, the hiding of the new gang. I believe they're called Skinner Brothers. Is that what they're called? Yeah, but I didn't like do anything there. I just turned around and came back out and then we went up here. We came to Blackwater and we spoke to uncle about building um, a new house. Yeah, so that's all I got up to. It was fun, but at least didn't miss out on any main missions. Um, still got the Sadie mission here. Um, so I guess let's do that right now. I mean, why not? We're here already. Um, yeah, I'm really bummed out that we... That my PS5 crashed and lost all that footage. It was really odd. Um, so I don't know why it would only lose like an hour and a half of the footage and keep like 20 minutes. But... There you go. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I do love a return customer. Welcome. Hello. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. <laughs> you, uh... I'm assuming we're just work? bounty hunting yeah. again. Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Mm -hmm. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. Opportunity. You, <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, oh? James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Well, Plus, we do need money. I don't much like getting robbed by no one. We need to uh, buy Come a on. new house. Where is it? We're heading to <laughs> I assume inside. a house is quite expensive. Mm. Sal. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. All right. Can I? Oh, can I go that way? Excuse me. <laughs> I feel. <clears throat> Follow me. Let's ride. <laughs> yes, ma'am. She's so funny. So is that like the main Some stuff we do with Sadie? Edges. Like bounties? Horses. Horses or I'm okay with it. He looks mean. He is. 
He doesn't look mean. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or <clears throat> dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. Mm. You know who I got up there with me? I'm assuming we do, like, Abigail? get attacked by the Skinner uh, Brothers. Abigail Seems so random to uh, introduce a new gang really? this late in the game. You, er, wanna talk about oh. well, Maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. <laughs> Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize Oh, yeah, duh. And then the episode did. before didn't save Boy, everything. Didn't too well. He took everything real hard. So, yes, I did do the Charles mission again. I think life on the plains is going <laughs> to oh be good God. for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. <clears throat> I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. To be honest, though, I don't know how if Abigail would be that impressed if she came to her new ho home and saw that it was just <laughs> inundated with everybody from the gang. <laughs> she, like, wants to avoid the life and he's inviting everyone back there to loot. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting About it. Dutch? Look, what happened with the gang changed everything. To be honest, I don't know if we'll find Dutch, but I am really want to find Micah. Like around me after the O'Driscolls? That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. Oh. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who said it all. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. So I'm then, sure he is. I hope we'll find He's not him, easily killed. He's slimy. Not now. Come on. Hmm. Music's nice here. It's like a painting. So pretty. We're kind of <clears throat> way more out in the desert now, aren't we? The country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house. <laughs> Shane Finley, correct. So we we're taking in. Have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers. Correct again. Though the given back part is optimistic. I'm guessing we're just gonna kill James Langton. <laughs> you know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Have we? I don't think we have. But we cut off okay. here. <laughs> I guess maybe I was supposed to go do those bounties. It probably is actually the easiest way to get money at this point in the game. This is the place. It's a view, all right. It sure is. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Um, got the Lancaster repeater, and I want the shotgun. I want the M one eighty nine. Yeah, and the sword off shotgun. Cool. Nice. Alright, let's go. Use binoculars. Oh. Oh, weapon scope to survey. Armadillo. Armadillo is a place? Sorry, I can't. I can't walk any faster. Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. I'll be there. Somewhere. I think I see something. Yup. I don't think we've ever been to Armadillo. 
the town. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the fella who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. Thanks. And that big fat fella with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other I can't fella really see. For him. Where do you think they're heading? <clears throat> Come on. There's only four people. Let's go follow them. Four people ain't too bad. You got to follow them, John. Come on. Ah, ah. I'm already on my horse. Through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Whoa, whoa! Not so close to the edge, girl. Jesus. They'll be coming through here. Okay. Oh, sorry. I do find that Buell is harder to maneuver than the other horses. <laughs> he kind of has a mind of his own, you know. There they are. We mm -hmm. follow and keep an eye on them. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> I guess. Girl, I wouldn't be yelling in my echo. Don't want to go over that butte. What's a butte? <laughs> you won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You talking to me or like to? <laughs> Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. She just talks to herself. I can relate to that. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. Sure. Get that. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Ooh. Ooh. See what I mean? What are you, what are you doing? He's just hard to maneuver. I wonder if it's just because our bonding level isn't as high, or Up if here, it's purposeful because this Hamish Hamish did sort of say he was temperamental. Yeah, they're stopping, and that sure is shameful. It's probably just the bonding though. Back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <clears throat> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. <clears throat> How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? <laughs> <coughs> You're worth ten of them. <laughs> thanks. I don't think that's true, but thanks. Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Why is it my call? Um, sneak? I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well... Follow away. Oh. Stay down and stay close. Let's okay. go. Um, throwing knife. Okay, I'm gonna try to be sneaky. I'm not usually good at sneaking in this game. <laughs> we're going down but we'll give it a go. On these rocky paths. Okay. I've only got eight. Nah, I guess you pick them up again though. Get the knife yet? What the fuck was that noise? Did you hear that? <laughs> Damn squeaky bridges. Okay. 
Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a bit closer, shall we? And take this out. Go, 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 go. Oh wait, we got some guys up here. I am. <laughs> I am shooting, I'm sorry. So slick, I'm not gonna lie. This isn't going super well. Who's that? Oh. Shoot that guy. Why couldn't I shoot that guy just then? That was so weird. Um. Why can't I shoot right now? What's happening? That was weird, but whatever. We need our horses. I know. That was so weird. Look at him here, dead. That's what you get for robbing me, Langton. Shit! That Sam Harvey would be rude not to rob. Eighty-one cents. Wow. Come on, it's time to collect. Oh. Okay, you're taking Finley. Okay. Well, you didn't. You kind of ran into me, woman. What's it look like? We're going for a ride. There, boy. It didn't work out for you before, woman. You should let me alone. Now this is not. Um. Well, we need this one actually. I didn't really get to use my shotguns. Oh dear. I'm just gonna go. Because <laughs> there's way too many people. Oh. Sadie? Okay, well, I feel like that's not my fault. <laughs> Can you try to stay alive? You died really easily. Oh great, I'm behind the bushes. Why is my aim so off? Oh my god, just shoot him. Fucking hell. What the hell is happening? 
And I think we might be free of them. Ride for it. This is suicide. Okay. That mission went really weirdly, <laughs> but we did it, I guess. It didn't really feel like any of my controls were working properly just then. <laughs> sometimes these games like that though. It just sometimes doesn't feel like the guns are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even know how Sadie died. I, need to relieve I don't even know myself. how I was supposed to avoid that. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm sick. Curious. <clears throat> yeah. And so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't <laughs> need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard hit the lady. It. Thank you. <laughs> I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, it does make you think. To shut him up. Don't listen to her. No. Let like, how do they prove who people are back no in this time? Me, there must be a lot of wrongful her. arrests. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What if this guy's innocent? John. No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. Yeah, I thought there was four guys. Man, there was with way Langton more. And his men gone? There will be more demand for our service. Like, it do, how does it make I'll sense that a bounty hunter know, would have like 20 guys? Now. Surely the bounty would not be worth it if you Mostly. had to split it that much. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll okay. see. Maybe. Whoa! Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. <laughs> You're a bitch and a bastard. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Alrighty. I, I object to this. It's your cell at the end there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You. Oh, you. chill. One with Stop the him here. Yeah, I'm We're sorry. He's heavy. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a <laughs> thing like that? It was him that robbed. Why is she just admitting that? Okay. Here. There's a decent it's okay to just kill people? Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> I guess they're friends. <laughs> no, I'll uh I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay. Jim Milton. It's John Marston <clears throat> here. Alright, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find okay. you. I'm retired. Sure. Be <laughs> well, John. Jean. Okay, two hundred dollars, pretty good. So I guess now we have enough money to pay for uh, that stuff we need for our house. Nice. So that must be what's on the map. A C. Albert Cakes. Uncle said you can buy a pre-cut house in Blackwater. Why is Charles in the picture though? <laughs> okay, I guess let's go do that while we're here. How do we get in here? See, he's dirty still. We brushed him twice. Here's your post, boy. Oh, he's so pretty though. He's so pretty. Give you one more brush. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Um, I guess let's go see about a house. I don't know why we're doing this at night time. Excuse me, maybe. sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. Ha <laughs> ha, joking, I'm joking. <laughs> How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some 
dumb old coot, I know. Uh, Tell me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut? <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Okay. Which house do you want? <gasps> Each one oh. is entirely unique. But oh, we get to listen. pick? Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, yeah. entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in. Oh, no, we don't get to pick. <laughs> credit from the bank. Oh, <clears throat> fantastic. Now, you write your name here. And uh, you sign your name this there. This is so weird. And you will be the proud owner of a factory building. So they home. cut it all that and it's like Pleasure to we meet build it you, ourselves. Mr. Like Martin. IKEA. <laughs> Cakes Esquire at your service. You Esquire. boys give me a minute. <laughs> oh. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked mm -hmm. on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Uh, Has it been a few weeks? What's just happened? Branch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This skin is about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come I on. mean, there's nothing in the house, so... Me. Are they just going to steal the wood? This is Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good. Because you're about to get shot. Oh, at yeah, I went to the men's post. You want to build a house with a sniper um, rifle then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. But yeah, there was nothing right, to do then. that at the Let's time. Let's go buy us some tools. Okay. I know the quickest way. Follow me. So the Skinner brothers are out to get us. Has it been a few weeks or something? Like, what, what was our time skip? <laughs> Or is it just morning now? Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. Mm. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you okay. don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Nothing at all. Nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front... They would want the wood? Guns for hire, ...then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable instead of pre cut timber and some tools. What? No. Yeah. Wait. The, trust <laughs> me on this. You're <laughs> thinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace. No, of he's thinking like a criminal. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just. I think that. John is the scariest looking Maybe one here. I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon, but I'm not so different from you, partner. A weapon? Why is he talking right like this. that? Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What was that you were saying? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, Come I put on. my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. <laughs> I believe you. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer. Why did we drop off the timber and then go get the tools? You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Neil's he's an acquired taste, but boy can I'm he confused. Are we supposed to know who the tool maker is? Norwegian Did anyone mention that? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship like a god. No one's talked about him. 
Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he <laughs> speaks, but Neil's oh. nose too. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. Here we are. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Buy some tools from Nils. Okay. You got it. Nils. Nils, it's me. Hi. Willard Wayne. He looks like okay. Papa Smurf. <laughs> this is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. Okay. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you okay. got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the mm. best. You off some place, I mean, he's just saying okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I like him. There you go. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on. Let's get moving. <laughs> I like Mills. He's funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Let's go. Features hope. They've been yep. trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself. I don't know. So happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But yeah, I don't really know how he's going to turn into a farm Let's because the land is I very can. dry. World needs men like you. And oh! <laughs> I knew that was coming. Holy moly. There's a lot of people here. Keep your head down! You weather this. Where'd they come from? Look there! You okay? Of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. Uh, All right, you stay here. Uh, uh, Charles, come on. Mr. Mr. Smith. Go. Here we go. Why'd they take him? Oh my God, John, just go. Dude, oh my god. Some 
someone please pr help protect me for five seconds? Is he dead? Why would they just kill him? They hung him up or something? Guess let's just loot these bodies around here. So we don't leave the area. Mr. Wayne? Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! Charles, I found the tools. Now, oh. Where's Mr. Shit. Right. Jesus. Was that like a warning? What the hell? Jesus. I knew that guy was gonna die because he had a lot of big talk. <laughs> you gotta move fast. Come on. Oh, and he had a wife and kids. Let's go. Back to the road. Okay, well, I guess we gotta take out these Skinner brothers, gang. Jesus, there's a lot of them. We don't wanna stay here. Let's go. I'm coming. Yeah, there's a lot of looting to do, but I always get scared to loot in the middle of a mission because they start yelling at you. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner's. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Why did we not drop the Mr. Wayne didn't make it. wood off? <laughs> we have to get out of here. You are they, do they just are they just trying to like Come stop on. us? Help me. Are they just trying to stop right. us from like Let's get setting up here. shop here, or is this just like a show of power? What's the point? So we literally don't have anything valuable. Okay, John, I'm riding with yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Get us back to beaches. <clears throat> okay. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Same okay, so this something. episode is action packed. <laughs> what kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this. The 
this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? I guess not. This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good Doesn't reason, feel different. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? Oh. No, not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to. There was a caravan a few months back. I don't think so. Massacred. Uncle! Hmm. Uncle! Is Uncle okay? Uncle! Oh yeah, he's over there. Sleeping. <laughs> you Sleeping it off. Crap. I was keeping guard. Really? <laughs> oh. What happened? Skinner brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. You can pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Hmm, well, maybe. We'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> Hi, are we building a house now? And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. Morning, brother. Bank loan receipt. Morning. What's Uncle want then? He's got a little camp over here. I guess we're starting to build. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. <laughs> it is like well, IKEA. How can it be? <laughs> A new Jerusalem? But I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain <laughs> unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Are you using what you've got, <laughs> which is less of a brain? <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation. Which involves moving mm -hmm. those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. <laughs> Maybe I was going to say. The mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help <clears> moving <throat> these joists. Now come on. Get a move come on. on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He really wants us to build this He's house. Right. Yeah. Get on with this. They're being very helpful. Do they expect to actually live in the house with us? <laughs> Uncle is just asleep in different areas. Nice. This 
house is massive. She's gonna be very impressed. We need to get some sun, we're pale ass. Thanks, Uncle, for the guidance. <laughs> it is, it's like flat pack house rather than flat pack furniture. Nice. It's coming together, guys. This house is nice. I swear to God, if anything happens to our beautiful house. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever, no matter, any weather, we're together. We're together. <laughs> makes it look really easy to build a house. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's a little bit lopsided, but it's everything. good enough. <laughs> John Marston. We got electricity. You home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. I don't think we should be inviting everyone to live with us because <laughs> it's Gentlemen, not what Abigail wanted. To this happy home. I mean, maybe on the same land, but probably not in the same house. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. That's, that makes more sense. Are we going to write her a note? A letter? My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. It's a bad way to start a letter. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours. And we are going to try <laughs> our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Smith <laughs> yeah. has also appeared. He did tell us where to get the house, so. Surprisingly, a pillar of strength. Together, mm -hmm. we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please come back to me. You're gonna always, see Abigail again. John. I hope so. I hope we do get to see her again. A few days later. <gasps> Has she turned up? Surely it wouldn't get to her that quickly. Why are we in this outfit again? Gorgeous. It's actually really nice. <laughs> it's much nicer than most of the houses in the game. I thought you was... Where the hell? Huh? Can I go look inside? Whoa. Pretty nice. Just need some furniture. I mean, we need to clean up a little bit, I think. Before, <laughs> before Abigail comes, but, you know. It's a work in progress. Little... Oh, that goes upstairs. Interesting. 
Yeah. You guys could have kept it a little bit cleaner. I guess Abigail will come and clean it. A woman's touch. There's a fast travel. Fire. Don't leave a fire on in a wooden house. Alright, pretty nice. Is this a bedroom? Okay, that one's locked. Okie dokie. Definitely need to spruce it up a little bit. But it's not bad. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just <laughs> once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be <laughs> some two penny slave driver that comes along and Hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? <laughs> ranching? Planting ranching. something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, sheep? you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? <laughs> I don't know. Cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. <laughs> now we got to go them. buy another house? Okay. Then I never was that fast. <laughs> I'm growing more fond of Uncle in the epilogue than I was in the game. In the black water. Let's go. Okay. Yep. Now this fella probably saw you, thought here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I <laughs> think exactly the same thing. I think he would think we're well, scary. Uh, I'm gonna actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let's get robbed again. <laughs> oh no! You need someone with some sense to negotiate and some charm. <laughs> hurt later. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're yeah, he's very charming. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. So now we need to get a barn, and we need to buy sheep. Far too Ooh. comfortable. It's gonna get expensive, I think. Yeah. We haven't got anything. Hopefully, Abigail's been doing some work. Maybe she comes along with some money. Morning. Speak to the lumber salesman. Okay. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Emily. <laughs> Does he think we're someone else? We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? <laughs> uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's and been you, a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Okay, Uncle didn't say anything. How are we going to pay for that? That was weird. <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David What's the problem with that lumber salesman? He's kind of weird. This man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I really enjoy 
enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. John! Hey! Oh! Is that Sadie hey. Adler? <laughs> hey! John! Hey! How are you? Well, hello, Uncle! Nice to see you, and you too! Oh, shut up, you old creep! <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing up. You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, okay. it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Must be pretty bad if Sadie won't do Look it. Look him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank okay, there's we... money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on All good right, so... We can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Morning. Don't touch me. It's <laughs> Calm yourself, boy. <laughs> so what were you telling Sadie, me? Sadie, come on, get out of there. Sadie, stop getting involved. Oh. Where is she? Return to Sadie. <laughs> Sadie, you're okay. Oh, yes. All right. The painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay. This fucking game. <laughs> oh, stop running into me, everybody. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Ramon Cortez. And stuck in West Elizabeth. It's got to be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're going to get to him first. Okay. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? I thought we killed all the Del Lobos. You back down to where we was, New Austin? You're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them, but some is Californios, and some are regular Californios. <laughs> They're a misfit bunch. Just like a Californio is not considered regular They're American. Friendly. Real friendly. Oh yeah. I thought we Look, killed the Del Lobo gang as there. Arthur. Burnings, killings, Just that leader, maybe. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I'm mad. Don't okay. you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this fella I'd hide. Nope. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm well, I mean, sure he... you did the best you could. I've heard he didn't get shot immediately. The kinds of things they do to men? Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I doubt it. I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? <laughs> I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make <laughs> No. No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched it. Mark the odd Oopsie order Daisy? at us. It's <clears> solid, <throat> though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country. Sadie. Yeah, when is Sadie gonna come Despite over? She's avoiding that. coming I over. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends <laughs> the wrong message. Oh, shut up. That's what I am now, an employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Why does it seem like they're flirting a little? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Buell is really hard to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I swear Buell is harder to 
maneuver. I'm, I, it's so, it just feels weird riding him sometimes. I'm sorry, Sadie. Relax. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Mm -hmm. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm just gonna get all my. Barney, I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Kick. Ramon Cortez, we've come for you. <gasps> Jesus! Uh, it'll all be over soon. Get off me! You got him? <laughs> she so. said the exact same thing. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. that's him. That would hurt. Come on, let's get him to the sheriff. That was, wasn't too bad. Come on, Ramon. <clears throat> Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? Oh, sorry. It's different See my there now. It's different. That uh, hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. We've been at Rhodes. It didn't seem that different. I mean, it seemed a little bit more run down. Oh, shut up. I guess we can talk to Pearson. We'll cross up here. Why were they? Why did that feel a little bit too easy though? She said it was going to be real dangerous. I don't know. Whoa, damn it. Hello. This you place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Mm. It looks more run down, I reckon. Well, hello. Hi. Ready, partner. Hello. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Bet you're glad for the rest, fella. Mmm. Good boy. Okay. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Oh, come on, man. Three. Hundred <sighs> Be quiet. Like, can, can the glitches in this playthrough just stop, please? For fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Get off. Jesus Christ. Okay, now get him off again. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, let's go. Sorry, Sadie, I got stuck between two horses' asses. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Sure did. <laughs> in a pile of shit. That's about I love her right. accent. How you doing, Ramon? <clears throat> oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late. That for actually that, sounds Ramon. pretty good. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. To be fair, two thousand okay. sounds good pretty good. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Ah. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is where it really begins. I spent years <clears throat> cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a little too cocky. It's worrying.
Uh oh. Whoa, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about ten nope. seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you nope. fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Tell Lumos. Explosion? They, uh, they, jail they did what we did to Micah. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we yeah. brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it Excuse to me. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Yes. Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. He has a huge. Seventy-five. Mustache. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. His, look at his mustache. It's quite magnificent. <laughs> Come on. Hold on. I just need a loot because I'm going to run out of ammo at some point. Sell all the jewelry. He said there as well. were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Have we got. Let's check the condition of all our guns. Yeah. Uh, You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. You're too far behind. I'm coming. Just making sure I have good condition on my guns. Sorry. He was gonna say something. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we Jim Crack. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, hmm. isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was. I was a thing. little. <laughs> How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter people. wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. 
I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with Fair a enough. price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high mm -hmm. enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. She gets pretty high bounties. A lot of ones with Arthur were like $50. Went that, went that much. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's mm -hmm. find a good vantage point. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> before we do anything. Okay. Whoa. My guns. No, it always changes my guns. Come on. It's really weird. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I wanna die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look she asleep wants, as far she means as I she can wants tell. to die. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Okay. Please don't kill Sadie in this game, I swear to God. Oh my god, I'm running 
out of ammo everywhere. I run out of all my ammo. Random guy. Oh, you're joking. Okay, hold on. Need to Let's get everything up. God, it's so slow. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. You're gonna get shot. Oh, the music's oh, so creepy. Why is the music like that? Get I am. I need to go buy ammo. I've run out of everything. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Why is the music so creepy? Oh, you gave up easy a long time ago. <laughs> hey, look out! There's more of them coming. Hey, let's do that again. Shut your gut down. Oh. Brandy? Are we done? We might just be. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. <laughs> Too ah. tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Time to go. Okay, let's go. Hold on, I just need a loop. 
Yeah, I'll make sure I have enough ammo in the next episode. It's just so annoying that, like, looting the NPCs get kind of annoyed at you for looting. <laughs> like, it doesn't ever really give you the opportunity to do it. The amount of times I've looted, and because I've looted, it's like failed the mission because I've taken too long, is kind of annoying. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you, and we will kill you. Alright, jeez. You, and anyone who is close to you. <laughs> I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, you let me go? I think he'll give you I money and still kill you, to be honest. This. You see, Ramon... What we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Yep. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. <laughs> oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. My friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for oh, you. Oh dear. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just <laughs> Why is his voice so odd? <laughs> because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fight and the killing. Here we are. Back again. Looks like. <laughs> Let's just finish this. Hey, what big are you mistake. barking at? Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We well, got we're him. making enemies, that's I knew for sure. You'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Sand and Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. No, pay us exactly. now. What the hell? Now, goodbye. I Let's bet this go, sheriff's going to die on the way there. Amigos. Shut up. <laughs> pay us now. Uh, Thanks for this, John. I don't think we've seen that money. For me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. <laughs> money for old rope. You say so. Hmm. See you around, partner. <laughs> Heading home. The barn? It's already made? Bank loan received. Bank debt repaid. Hey, it looks like the barn's already made. Nice. Uncle mission. We have a lot of uncle mission. And um, there's a few bounties. Oh, there's an Ev oh, there's Evelyn Miller. Okay. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, nice. Alright guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. This uh, might be a little bit short of an episode, but we got a lot done. We did a lot of, we, we mostly, actually only did main mission stories uh, this episode. Um, so next episode, I kind of want to maybe do a few more of the bounties, try to get a bit more money, maybe go sell that jewelry. We probably have about 500 if we sell the jewelry, I think. So that'd be good. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. It was very action packed. <laughs> Um, but we've got a house, we've got a barn, um, hopefully Abigail and Jack come and visit soon, fingers crossed, and hopefully the Skinner brothers don't come by and burn down all our hard work in the next episode. So yeah, if you guys like this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!